This demo shows you how you can use CAD Lab to change the dimension of a part or an assembly using CAD Lab. Now what you see here is a SolidWorks part which is representing a cantilever beam. And here we have a handle graphics based GUI that I made up using Guide in MATLAB. Now using CAD Lab, what I have done is integrated most of the important information of the cantilever part, such as mass, density, volume, a whole bunch of other numbers in this GUI. Now what we're going to do is use these sliders down here to change the different parameters of this cantilever. Now first what we can do is start with the length. So as you can see that the beam grows bigger or we can grow the beam shorter. Uh, similarly we can change the width of the I-beam or increase the height of the I-beam or make the web thicker or thinner and so on. We also have a tip load which we can increase to show that for certain dimensions the material given right now here at mild steel is going to either start yielding or start failing. So this sort of shows you the grounds of setting up an optimization problem where you could say that I want the lightest cantilever, so least mass, for a particular load and optimize the best I-beam dimension. Now how much code did I have to write for this? Well if you look at the code itself, well this is the, the guide generated uh, file, so this is for free. The callback file, which essentially does initialization, close the model, or open the model, uh, again, very few lines for each of these functions. And really, how am, am I changing the dimension? You can specify a name for a dimension, and you can say that for this particular named dimension, set this value and that's pretty much what it is so essentially for uh, three or four lines of M code you can control the dimension of a part in the case of an assembly it would probably be um, a mate dimension for example a distance mate you could set the distance between two parts and so on so that brings us to the end of this demonstration